Tonight, Ford is peeling back the construction tarps and taking us inside Michigan Central Station as they work to get it ready for workers to move into that building. The company says work is on track to have offices up and running by the end of this year, but there's still plenty of work left to be done. As Rod Maloney shows us, the amount of work needed to fix the building even surprised Ford. It is well nigh impossible to understate the complete disaster that Ford found when it got to the Central Depot here three years ago. Scrappers had stolen anything they couldn't reach. Wiring gone, all of the metal gone. The open roof allowed weather inside and it took a beating this building. Michigan Central Depot is the true face of Detroit, emblematic of Motown's meteoric rise in wealth and influence, its fall from grace, and now its reconstruction. It's projected to cost a billion dollars. As Ford's site construction manager, Rick Bardelli, looked around the massive scaffolds filling the first floor, he says they found some unwelcome surprises once they got inside. We took over two and a half million gallons of water out of the building. Um, as we started taking the water out of the building, there was a basement that nobody knew about, about 60,000 square feet. They had to fill it with concrete. The work came in phases, get the building closed from the weather, which is expected to be completed next month, stabilize the building, which they've now done, and then restore, which they're working on. There's the roof skylight. To see it from the floor um, is hugely gratifying and um, it, it feels really great to be able to show everybody the accomplishments of what the team has, has done here. With features like the florette surrounding the main window, turns out a car company with an army of 3D printers can recreate a lot. When they're painted, you can't tell the difference between this and a cast iron piece. Um, but you surely can feel the weight difference. Now, the book depository next door to the train station is going to start seeing Ford employees as soon as this year, like this summer. But then we're talking about vendors and employees moving into the main central depot by the first or second quarter of 2023. In Corktown, Rod Maloney, Local 4. And how about some numbers? Ford has put in 300 miles of new electrical wiring there and 30 miles of mechanical piping. Ford is also installing an air conditioning system in a building built before air conditioning was even an idea.